Hi Sagis, welcome to my channel. We're doing your 23 to the 24 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Good morning. What are you doing? Oh, my straw is not yet. Um, you know, it's still straw. This is paper. <laughs> mm. No, yesterday it melted with the Gemini reading. It's hilarious. Okay, 23 to 24. What do you guys have for me over here? Um, we're gonna be doing the one question answer. So in extended, we get that card. Here we're doing the Lenormand, okay, and the Tarot. So that's how it works. While I'm pre-shuffling, okay, um, there's an ongoing thing with the Glamour uh, for the Memorial Day. If you, what, the time that you're watching this, if you subscribe, you know how I launch the monthly readings for love. So you will get a code, okay, for it. It comes in the box when we ship it to you. So you get an extended free uh, extended reading for free, okay. So you get one code, okay, for monthly reading, sort of extended. So if you subscribe, it comes in the box monthly, six months, three months. All right, there. We go. Let's see what's going on for the Lenormand. Oh, until Memorial Day only, okay. So here we go. Let me see here, but be particular because we there is a ship shipping day that we send this out, okay. Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. When I talk about the astrology part, it's based on it's based on Vedic sidereal. I don't read the Lenormand, also traditional. It depends. Oh, here we go. Sagittarius. Oh, not good right away. <laughs> Makes me want. <laughs> if I read it traditional, it's not good. Mhm. Mm okay. Um. I forgot what it's called, okay, because I can't pronounce the, the word. A, a scythe? A scythe? A scythe? I don't know. But it's a, um, It's the thing that cuts, okay. This is not good, okay. This is a real person, um, feminine energy, okay. I have to clo cover that one because I might get scented, okay. And then you have your the flower, okay. If you are, okay, let's just keep it real here. <laughs> let's keep it real, okay, because this is how Lenormand is. You can fast forward to the tarot. If you don't like Lenormand, fast forward to the tarot. If you know that you are a mistress, you might get cut off. Okay, okay, so what is a mistress? I don't know. You define yourself. I mean, they're married and you're, you're the third party. Or if you're involved with someone and then they have a mistress, that person will get cut off. Mm-hmm. Huh, let me see here. Now, considering this feminine energy, okay, they're not good. Okay, they're not good because they're. This is like someone is ruining your relationship, Satch. You understand me? There. That's why I kind of don't like them. Okay. <laughs> Uh, like there is, you have something good working on right now, and then here comes okay Hilda over here, trying to take your boo, okay. I'm um, you know this is just again, this is a general read. It means for some it's general, for others it's personal. So respect for the people who resonate and respect for the people who doesn't resonate with it. It's a very particular situation, okay. Now. If I were to stir away from that energy from the Lenormand, um, someone here will be able to overcome their fear of the public eye. Like you're someone who is in the stage, you're someone who's a performer, you're a street performer, they're a street performer, or they do shows, stuff like that. They're overcoming their fear. And it's going to be acknowledged warmly by people. So success comes. You understand me? Okay. So that's the other one. Um, someone here also wants to make big changes on how they look. You'll be changing like, like you know what? Chopping my hair. You know what? Changing the color. You know what? I don't like this dress. Because someone here is growing from within. Like it's blossoming here. But it requires you to sever also. Um, someone here can be like also cutting their best friends off. You know, it's like, okay, bye. You know, it's like, you were not a nice person to me. You're gonna cut those person off. Cut that person off. Okay? So there. That's an enormous. Let's go with the tarot, Sagis. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see here. 
is going on. This is 23, 24. Let's see. Got a four of cups. You're waiting for someone. This is a person who waits for Mr. or Miss Wright. Mm -hmm. Four of cups. Well, I don't know. When, it, when are they coming, Sal? Well, one, don't wait. Make it happen, okay? Not saying that you have to go make advanced move with the person, not like that. But this is a person who's... But if this is them, they're waiting for you to open up. They're waiting for you to reach out to them. That's the Four of Cups. King of Coins, Capricorn Energy. So they want to connect with you. And I feel that you're the one who's just like, yeah, they have to sell. It's just like, no, I'm, I, no, I'm not going to reach out. Someone is looking forward for the offer, but it can be the person is always busy with the King of Coins. They take care of work. They take care of finances. There's a Four of Cups with the um, the King of Coins. Let's see here if this person is coming forward. Get a Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're doing some sort of silent treatment with this person. You are not gonna budge. You feel like it's going to be a very effective way by distancing yourself. But it's like this. You're distancing yourself but making yourself seen by this person. So meaning you want them to feel your vibration regardless you're not interacting with them. So you're giving them subtle um, hints that, um, hey stupid, I'm waiting. You know, you're going to give them subtle but that's not subtle. Okay. <laughs> but that's how I'm seeing. Now, this person, the world card, they get it. Um, this can be a long distance relationship, and you're saying already, it's just like, um, this person needs to move and relocate and already go towards me. You see? They understand. This is a person with the king of coins with the world card. They know that you mean the world. Of course, that's what they call it. They know that. They want to be with you, but if they're dealing with a lot of things here, um, they have to finish at first. It can be contract, business, work, that they have to finish. So you could be connecting with a foreign person from a foreign land and totally, um, you know, it's like it requires for you guys to meet each other. Now, if they're not foreign land, you know, but it can be, you know, a person who's different ethnic background and there is a meetup that's still going to happen. Six of Pentacles. Everybody's getting the Six of Pentacles. Is it tax return season? Oh, uh, this, this is a payout. Like, you're going to get some sort of... Uh, I feel like it's the spending time. Okay? Remember, for me, this is about communicating when are we going to spend time. This is the communication. It's not the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, right, is they visit you. But this is more of Six of Coins where I will talk to you on where are we going to meet and how we can work this out. You know, I will do this. Can you make room for your schedule? I have some things. You have some things. And then it works out. Okay. Get a page of coins. See, they reach out to you. This is a person who's going to unload a lot of baggage also. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So, so they come to you to tell you a lot of stuff about them. They come to you to tell you, it's like, oh, okay, so well, this is what I think that I was being busy. This is that. Oh, communication is going to be very open with this person. They will, I feel like they're going to speak the truth on why they were not able to reach you at the certain time that you wanted to because they know that you have distanced yourself. Vice versa for Cross Watcher. They know that um, the energy between the two of you was strained because of them not being as available as they should be. But an explain, expect an explanation coming from them. Um, and, you know, it's like you might get it in a, you know, a nice gesture, meaning um, to pacify you. If they feel like you've distanced yourself, you have done the silent treatment, they give you something tangible. It can be a person who is more older than you, but less mature than you. Because they come up as a king of coins. So, I mean, age-wise, you know, remember that, you know, that's 35 up, okay? 36 up, something like that with the kings. But they're acting like a page, which means they act like, I don't know, 17. <laughs> I 
this person is a, a, a how to say a globe trotter can be they travel for work they travel around you know that's why they can always just give you a certain amount of their time this is a six of coins and you're always here wondering waiting wondering waiting but you stop investing also they're coming okay so I'm gonna continue this reading we'll see as this person continuously interact with you we'll see how it develops with my tree of life spread over here we'll get the one question answer here check out the glamourcrystals.com if you so that you get the code for the um, you know free uh, free extended reading for the love for monthly have a wonderful 23 24 sag I'll see you bye Thank you.